Learning with the Illuminati. Introduction to the sensory and motor system. The uppermost region of the central nervous system, called the cerebrum, can be divided into two hemispheres, each containing specific distinctions preferred to as lobes. The outermost parts of the lobes is referred to as cortex, which is folded many times, thus more cortical area can fit inside the skull. This folding creates grooves, referred to as sulcus, or in plural sulci, and ridges, called gyrus, or in plural gyri. Stimuli from the sensory organs, travels along nerves to the brain, where much of the information is forwarded to specific parts, often to the cortex for processing. For example, cells in the eyes passes a cascade of signals passing through the brain to the primary visual cortex, located in the back of the head. And auditory information travels upwards through the brainstem and further to the auditory cortex for processing. Even though the main part of the stimuli reaches its corresponding cortex, some neuronal signals may be processed prior to reaching the cortex. Also, parts may shortcut to other structures in the brain, or to reflexes, often causing bodily effect before the mind becomes aware of the impulse. For instance, olfactory stimuli may prior to processing affect various structures important for memory, thus, certain odors may reawaken several years old memories. Whereas stimuli from the tongue, travels through the brainstem, before reaching intermediate parts and the gustatory cortex. Information from receptors in the skin and muscles is processed at the top of the brain, in the somatosensory cortex, where the information is processed in an ordered fashion along the cortex. In front of the sensory cortex, lies the motor cortex, which in cooperation with the rest of the brain, may contribute to giving order to your muscles, causing movement. All you touch and all you see is all your love.